Glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and that shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Jehovah Jesus Christ, Holy Mighty, our Father and our God, the Creator of the heaven and the earth, we thank you for this program that you, you allow us to be a partaker, to be based on to honor, honor, glory, and majesty to your name in the earth. Father, you love us. You create us in your image and likeness. You don't want us to die. You want us to live. But Satan, our enemy, but thank God that you send your only begotten son to conquer the power of Satan, death. To give us life. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I uh, will not like to waste time. I just want to go straight to the point. If we look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 8 and 9 to 30, and the Lord God formed, sorry, the Lord God planted a garden. That is verse 8. Eastward in Eden. And there he put the man who had formed. Verse 9 said, And out of the ground the Lord God made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. Now in that garden, the tree of life is there. Also, the also the means of the garden, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. There's one thing I would like to say here. That is a test which, according to the Bible, Abraham also was tested and he passed, but Adam failed. There is tree of life there. It is only God that can ask Adam to go and eat the fruit of tree of life. But impatient or lack of knowledge whatsoever. And the Lord said in verse 17, give one. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. You can just imagine. It doesn't disturb him not to eat the, the fruit of life. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. That's the first law that Lord gave to Adam in the Garden of Eden. It's like when you do a test to children. I don't want to waste time. I should have given it a small testimony concerning a judge that put the foot of Pancanel and the uh, code of fire. Now let me come to the point. The Lord warned Adam, that you dare not go to that fruit of good and evil. That is why you see what is happening today. Men are faithless. They can do and undo. You trust them, you don't fall. Even your wife at times. Even your husband at times. There's a lot of marriage. They don't, they don't keep the law of marriage. Both men and women, only very, very few elect coming back to the pond. That is the reason why, when uh, Satan deceived them to eat the fruit of it, he said, uh, If the Lord said you will not eat that fruit in chapter 3, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Ah, uh, he said, No, I just want to cut it. In chapter 3, 
I don't, I don't want to waste time. I will just briefly say something there. I will start from verse 6. In verse 5, look at serpent. Or from, let me start from verse 4. The serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. Who, who, who is deceiving whom? When you are listening to another person's man, a woman, for man to deceive you, not to love your husband because you want to have immoral, immoral sexual immorality. A liar. No wonder Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 44, he said, in the beginning, let me, let me quickly read. He told lie. Hallelujah. In John chapter 8, verse 44, look at what happened when Jesus is talking, honestly. <laughs> it's God talk. I love that statement. The, state, the statement of Jesus Christ. When Jesus opened his mouth, <laughs> you dare not play with it. Verse 44 said, you are not your father, you are of your father, the devil. And the desires of your father, you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks, he speaks a lie. He speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. It means in Genesis chapter 3, verse 4, the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. And when God says something, it stands forever. If you lie, you keep it. If you lie, you disobey it to your own do. do. And for God's own, look at what he continues, liar. For God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. You can see what he, he, the implication. He doesn't tell them like God. Is God a, an evil man? No. So this, that is the beginning of the end. And in verse 6, so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that is pleasant to the hair eyes, and the tree is desirable to make one wise, she took of it, of the food, and ate. She also gave to it to her husband with her, and also it. Then their hands were both then open, and they were, and they knew that they were naked and they so fig tree and so on. Now what I want to say is this. Immediately they eat that fruit, the glory of God left there. Now they are aware that something has happened. They are they are as open to evil, open to corruption, open to stealing, open to fornication and adultery, open to Worship the, 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 the handiwork of God. You can see. Now, different type of disease and shortcoming, infirmity fall on them. It's not easy for God. I am sure that on that day, the Lord will shake his head and say, Wow. Why should I do this? Okay. Because it's almighty. Begin to create an opportunity. Thank God it's all Noah and so on. But let me, because of the time, in Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 32, I would like to read. I want to save time. Ezekiel 18, 32. And God is talking to the Israelites about himself, about what he hates 
and what he loved. He showed that he loved them. And they don't know. There's a lot of people in the world today. They don't believe there is God. Even those who believe there is God, they don't know how much God loved them. They don't know. They may be complaining upon everything. When the rain is falling, hey, this sun is too much. When the sun is inside, hey, the sun is too They will never, they were ungrateful. Because the spirit of death is working with them. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord saw, the Lord said clearly by the mouth of Ezekiel, verse 31 and 32, cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed and get yourselves a new heart, a new spirit. For why do you, you die? He cleared it for them. Why do you want to die? Throw away your sin. If anybody, whatever you may call yourself, you may say you are a shepherd, you are an evangelist, you are a teacher, you are this and that. No compromise. This is the blank, straightforward. Ezekiel said, throw away all your sins and transgress. Why do you want to die? He know they were. They were following the path of death. Hallelujah. And the Lord declare, for I have no pleasure in the death of one who die, says the Lord God. Therefore, turn and live. You see? Now, the gospel according to John love it very much. Let us quickly go in John chapter 1. I don't want to waste time. Let us read for 4 and for 5. Hallelujah. For no, I'm coming. John 1, verse 4 or 5. No trouble. Okay. Okay, let us start from the beginning. In the beginning, look at that, was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. That is a very adjective that I love most. First TV. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. We only what we need to do is to study the Bible very well and know the point. Not, to, not talking rubbish. Jesus is the only instrument that Lord God used to create everything. Nothing but him. Look at him in verse 4. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend. Think about that. Life. Light. Anybody all over the world, you want to receive life, it's in Jesus Christ. If you want to, re if you want to receive death, it's in Satan. And that is why Jesus came to destroy the work of devil, Satan. Hallelujah. Jesus came to this world. He became flesh. He became man. Verse 14. Look at what the Bible says. And the world was become flesh. And the world became flesh. And dwell among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and the truth. You cannot find 
lie in Jesus' time. What we you will find in Jesus Christ is grace, that is the Holy Spirit. Truth, that is the word of God. Now, without wasting time, Hebrew chapter 2 shows us that Satan is dead. And Jesus has come to destroy him. Only what we need now is to click to Jesus Christ. In Hebrews chapter 2, let us start, I don't want to read that, let us start from verse 14. In as much then the children have partaken of flesh and blood, that is the human being, he himself likewise share in the same. The true death, you can see, true death, is the only one that can enter into the hell and come out alive. So that many people will believe will not, will not die. They will sleep. We, we, are, we are calling it sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He himself share in the same. He share it. The true death, he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is the devil. It, it means devil is dead. That is another name for it, for, for him. Dead. Hallelujah. I would like to keep think about it though. A sinner, the world is dead. When you are committed, a li thank God, in Celestial Church of Christ in 205, he said, a little sin cannot reach the throne. He cannot see it. But he loved to call those he, he, he loved to, to see the glory. And he mentioned in the, in the last uh, stanza, he said, you that were driving away from the Garden of Eden, repent and return back. Your, 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 your home is calling upon you. Uh, because of there's no time. Why we quickly go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15? Let me show you something there concerning how the Lord make it for us. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I will read. <laughs> okay. Chapter 15. If we read from verse 46, verse 46 said, However, the spiritual is not forced, but, the, but natural. And afterward, the spiritual. The first man was of the door of the heart, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As for the man of the dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. See now? And as we are born, the image of the man of God, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There must be a transformation. Now this, I said, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. God does, I'm, I'm sorry, he, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I tell you, a mystery. You know, Christianity is a mystery. Some people don't even understand. We shall not all sleep. That is the language of Christian. That, 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 I'm tired of it. I will not die. 
If you want to die, you can go and die. I'm not concerned. But we shall be changed. That is it. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when, is, when this corruption has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then we shall brought to pass, shall be brought to pass, the same that it is written, that swallow up in fish. We are going to swallow death. Death will be no more. Okay, death, we are serious. Where is your city? Ed, where is your victory? It's our who? The sin of death is sin. In case of this, if you want to make the power of death to, 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 to increase in your life, continue sinning. And the strength of sin is law, you see. Law does not forgive. Law we say go to jail. But Lord, we say, let, let us forgive, forget it. That's why Jesus said, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they were doing. The power to forgive <laughs> is another topic entirely. Hallelujah. But thank God. But thank be to God who give us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast immovable, always abound in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You can just imagine that. In case of this, there are many other places that you can touch. But let me tell you today, this death, death, death that you are hearing, if you are a if you are somebody that is committing sin, you will find yourself in where you will not expect. Because some people may be confident. Yeah, I am a teacher. I am a preacher. I am a shepherd. Uh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't leave the church anytime. Uh, I'm sorry. That's not the point. It's good. It's good to come to church, to pray, to do everything, to be a pastor, to be a... Uh, but it, no. Let me read for you. John chapter 8. Jesus said something very clearly. Very clearly. I love that place. Verse 34. Let me read. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 8. Verse 34. Yeah. He said. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus and answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. Whoever, what you may call yourself, whoever you will not last. You can be there for years, a preacher, a teacher, an evangelist, lay superior, mother celestia, you're hitting the other. It doesn't matter. Whoever committed sin is a slave of devil. And a slave does not abide in the house forever. You can see. But son abides forever. Only what we need to qualify us to be a child of God, to be a saint, so that on that day we shall not be no one. Because this body, this body is temporary, it's useless. If you like, paint it. If you like, take bath three times a day. Use the best perfume, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't need it. We don't need all this body. I will use to run it up in that way. That is 2 Corinthians. 
chapter 4. And I will read. Thank God. Second Corinthians. Uh, chapter 4. Let's start from verse 18. I don't want to waste time. Hallelujah. Let me start from verse 16. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Yes, we don't lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, this body is perishing. On, I, I could remember 30, 40 years ago. I can jump from anywhere. But this time around, I take it easy with myself. It's perishing. It's worn out. Yet, the inward man is being renewed day by day. That's why we need to study our Bible very well for the kingdom of God. Day by day. Yes. For our, our large affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. Why we do not look at the things which are seen, but are the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen is eternal. Whatever be that sit on the back, you have to buy a car, is just to move you about. There's nothing more than that. Either you buy the best car or you buy a small car. If, if you are going on the road, who, who wants to ask me to come on the road? Even if you are reading the best car, you will pass. And I'm going. All is temporary. It will come. But we know that our earthly house, this tent, is destroyed. We have a building from God, a house not made by hand, Etna, in the heavens. <laughs> I, will be, I will like to be a partaker, not useless one. If you don't take your bath one or two days, <laughs> even if I don't take bath every day, the spirit in me will say, go to the bathroom. I will just find myself in this room taking shower. Because... I discovered that the Holy Spirit in me wants me to take care of this body so that you will rejoice. He feel it. I love God for that. He has been working with me very mightily. And that's my joy. Etna in heavens. That's our body. Our body is waiting for us. Within, within one or two seconds, they will change it. And for who dead, they may change it to go to hell. And that's why a sinner that does not repent, I think I would like to take the, that one as my second, any, any other topic now. Repentancy, I mean, faith without, there's a lot of people beside I have faith, I'm going to, and they're committing sin. Without the same country. Hallelujah. Let me round up here. For in this we grow. You see, every one of us, a day to a stomach too. You give me signal fees are dead. A dead. For in this we grow, earnestly desiring to be clothed with our habitation, which is from heaven. Yeah. Indeed. I won't be clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we who are in this tent grow, being burdened, not because we want to be clothed, unclothed, but for that, clothed, that mortality may be swallowed up by life. <laughs> Very soon, this death will be destroyed. May the Lord bless.